Okay, so today is July the 23rd, 2023, and I am compelled to do the video. Uh, it's rather taking my time away from me. <clears throat> it's not beneficial to my time, but I'm going to have to do this video because apparently there is people who... A big part of this problem and believe are going to become a solution to a problem they created. Uh, first of all, I'm trying to access a link here. It's called Institute March the 8th. It's something that became increasingly popular these days, uh, even through the CNN. Uh, and it's exactly why uh, it worries me because it goes everything according to MK Ultra. The whole thing, the whole concept, it's like totally according to scenario, uh, which also involves MK Ultra scenario, which also involves a minister for a family for a social matters in Slovenia. This is a new minister. Uh, Luka Mesic is his name, um, who is creating a public uh, presence through fake issues with the idea to get uh, a credibility before, according to him alone, he would get to the bottom of this case. And there was a war a really, really heavy word that ranged during MK Ultra about between me, between the CNN, between Obama, about who's going to be solving this case. And we had people from United States of America. That's what is worrying me, worries me the most. Uh, I am not going to bite um, these are not political issues these are not political issues at all uh, and this is what American politic uh, is missing out on and it's not American politic only it's, it's, it's a global politic that is missing out on and they're missing out on because of issues that popped up you know, which never ever should popped up let's say this here is a Slovenian individual who just lately or maybe a week ago I don't know a few days ago okay three days ago four days ago gave his interview to a Croatian TV where he plainly incited people into neo-Nazism uh, together with <clears throat> several Croats, Slovenian people, he plainly went on on a TV and incited in neo-Nazism openly, basically, uh, apparently was insulted because the day of the neo-Nazism was recalled uh, and uh, feels, I don't know, threatened, uh, insulted, because in Slovenia, as a matter of fact, this is not even about Slovenia. This did happen. The subject touched Austria, even. He somehow does not understand that neo Nazis lost war during the World War II and is just disturbed that he doesn't have his day of. Uh, victims of the communism uh, in Slovenia basically victims of the communism are the people that try to wipe out this very nation from the face of the earth those were the victims of the communism neo-nazis basically so he doesn't have his day the Croats don't have their day certain Croats it's not everybody like this and to get matter worse, this individual is an Udba individual. 
it's exactly contrary to a neo-Nazi, it's exactly contrary to um, or if you like a fascist or something like this, this is a fascist, except that this is a special kind of fascist. This is a fascist that worked for this business here that you see here, like a Stasi, like a KGB in what used to be known as Yugoslavia. This individual just happened so worked for what you see here. Uh, now, there is this Udba game that appears is becoming international with people in the United States of America not giving a fuck of any kind about what exactly they watch as long as it's what they can affiliate with and what I said a little earlier uh, a World War II victory over Nazism to which I agree I don't have a problem with but I do have a problem with you have people like Barack Obama in the United States of America a CNN uh, like a prominent TV company a media company that don't care about those little things that make all the difference in this world basically uh, this individual here is talking a lot about communism it's the communism that bothers him it's the new government that is being elected in Slovenia that bothers him but I think that the new bother uh, government in Slovenia to what he refers to as a leftist government uh, it's the people that are being elected in Slovenia that declared themselves as a leftists like let's say this guy Luka Mesets let's say and then you have a Tanya Fayon and so on a uh, minister for uh, foreign affairs in Slovenia then you have this guy here uh, as a coordinator for the left not really uh, not only not only coordinator for the left uh, he is a minister for the family for the work for the social uh, matters and such a stuff that's what he is and he is uh, openly a leftist uh, when I say openly a leftist, uh, first of all, there's nothing wrong with being a leftist. Uh, I am suspicious about this individual and I actually believe that he's not even a leftist. Now, this is probably confusing to you right now, and it should be. Uh, that's why I'm doing this video, so that we can, we can clarify these issues. I had no idea how much this guy is a leftist. Uh, he parades as a leftist. He presents himself as a leftist. Uh, and he's got a, a ferocious enemy against him who hates leftists. The thing about it is that none of these people are leftists. I said a little earlier that this guy worked for this guy, uh, for these people here. This guy is openly advocating what I demonstrated you. But what you see right there, this Udba, this, this Stasi movement, or KGB if you like, from the Soviet Union, these people are not leftists. This was not a leftist, this was not a lefty leftism or something like that. This was a Russian imperialism, this was a greater Serbian Chetnik state imperialism. It was a colonialism. It was a Serbian colonialism in the Balkans. And that's where I have the problem with. First of all, we're not touching the subject here of the communism. That's one thing that you need to remember who watches this movie. 
every little thing makes the difference. In this matter, however, we cannot come anywhere near to reality if we don't analyze thoroughly the whole thing. These people do not represent communism. I never had a problem with the communism. My life did not turn for worse because of the communism. My life turned for worse because of people like this. This guy is hunting a communist. He is making a dilemma. He is causing a panic, a havoc. Because of the people whom he alone brought to the power so he could cause the havoc. What I'm trying to say is these people work together with one another. On one side you have a leftist, on another side you have a guy that is, let's just say, anti-leftist. Uh, the problem is not that such a thing could not exist. Uh, it does exist. It exists. Except that what became evident from what I explained to you a little earlier rather explains that he is motivating in advocating a neo-Nazism. So what he referred to as a leftism or a communism Accordingly, with international laws and treaties, post-World War II laws and treaties, which prohibit engagement in a Nazism, uh, he is promoting one. Yeah? So that's why I said that these people work together with one another. Um, I am going to do the interview on this individual. Um... He did a few days ago with the Croatian reporters. Uh, and what I have to say to you is that uh, they attacked Austrian state uh, claiming that it's everywhere around the world that uh, people, uh, therefore, a neo Nazis are honored uh, with respect. Uh, that uh, in Slovenia, however, they don't get the respect. Obviously, they're not getting one also in Austria. Uh, it's, it's exactly the kind of issue. I'm going to do that in Slovenian language, I'm not going to get into this stuff in English language because of you people uh, don't pay anything for this so that I would do favor to you uh, but simply will do this because I deem that a police enforcement in Slovenia which took political positions against me uh, therefore did not do the work did not perform job duties have politically rather engaged in a genocide against me um, must understand that they are not doing their job when they have a people like this walking around and basically demanding a Nazism uh, in the name of the justice. Uh, and so did talking about the Slovenian police at my expense. What went on during MK Ultra was literally a Udba game, the game of these people who presented people like Janis Janša in a totally inappropriate light as an existing option uh, to basically lure other people into it, into into something that entire world, especially Germany, Italy, Austria, uh, everybody in the world rejected. It does have exactly zero potential. They're just looking to net lure people in their nets. 
uh, and they do get support for that kind of stuff from people like this who in my case not only they kept me jobless forcefully jobless engaged into psychiatry against me openly um, but have directly got directly involved in a physical torture this individual here as you see molested harrowed tortured in other words this is a minister for work family social matters and equality in slovenia i wouldn't even do the video this is another individual that i will have police report file against uh, but the problem here is, I wouldn't even bother with this individual. I wouldn't even do any of this stuff. I wouldn't even talk about this stuff here right now. If it wasn't for the CNN. And it, it really, uh, as I say, I don't have time for it. Let's try if it's going to open now. The Wikipedia. It's a link from Wikipedia. Let's see if it's going to open this link now. And if it's not going to open this link now, I'm just gonna go ahead, it doesn't open. It says the server, it's the service is unavailable. Alright, we're just gonna go through the kasha here. We're gonna get down to this stuff here. And I'm gonna give a few other names. Another minister that is connected to this issue here, March Institute of the March the eighth. Then what we're gonna do go, I'm gonna point you out what exactly is going on in respect to my case, how they believe what they brainwashed me with during MK Ultra, I would just have to comply with and how they are approaching to this issue. All right, so I'm not getting... All right, so I did get something. Okay, there's a lady whose name is Nika Kovac that you see here who was okay so we are not lucky today and damn she is a director of this company of this organization uh, March 8 March 8 this is a day of the ladies around the world um, absolutely I don't have anything against uh, however this lady is totally identical to this uh, minister here that you see, Luca Mesets, who is a minister for work, family, social matter, equality, and that kind of stuff. And as I earlier stated, present himself as a leftist. Uh, she also presents herself as a leftist, uh, but there is a really a serious problem. Um, with her connection to the direct connection to the Ljubljana mayor, his name is Jankovic. Now, when I say Jankovic, uh, you know, then you're going already too far with it. Uh, when I say Zoran Jankovic, then it's the same as if I say Vladimir Putin. This is what people in the West do not understand, uh, and they just demanded me to not give a fuck about it. But I do give a fuck about it. I do give a fuck about it because it's my cause. Uh, I do care for my life having destroyed my life, for uh, a Western imperialism taking a complete advantage in their direction. Uh, taking a total advantage, taking no responsibility for it. Uh, and the people who destroyed my life that you see right there, a Vladimir Putin, you're watching a Vladimir, this is a Vladimir Putin here that you're watching. This is actually worse than Vladimir Putin. This is actually Slobodan Milosevic. This is this guy who committed atrocities on the Balkan against four different nations and when you don't take no responsibility for it and you're actually demanding from me to comply myself 
when an individual like this who is connected to the individual that you have seen right there uh, when you're demanding from me to see myself in in this individual whom I could say is a daughter of this individual here oh ay, ay, ay. this guy is a fucking Ljubljana mayor how the fuck his name doesn't come out when he's like everybody knows about this Slobodan Milosevic here that you watch when you try to push me into the people who committed the genocide against simultaneously against four other nations on the Balkans during the Balkan War. You know, the time when I came even to United States of America, when I immigrated in the United States of America in 95, and you at the CNN, you in greater than Great Britain, beginning at the top, you in so many locations throughout the U.S. claimed me in the face that you just don't give a fuck about remember those days and today you have ukraine repeating this stuff now that was your barack obama who did this stuff you knew about what you did back then you know about what's what took place with crimea with the donetsk and you are trying to push down my throat to accept something i rejected long time ago I don't know with what idea exactly. But this is not the leftism. This is much closer to imperialism, to a neo-Nazism, to a fascism that you at CNN are through Barack Obama doing right now to the world. Through the politicians like Barack Obama. And you say, how the fuck is that possible, is it, right? Well, because imperialism works in a magic ways. Guess what? People meet behind the scene. People talk with one another. And they decide about entire global platform on how one is going to look like. And so, between the Barack Obama who just expressed open support for Vladimir Putin in respect to Ukraine, and today is July the 23rd, 2023. Go ahead. See what Barack Obama just did. What he tried to do with Ukraine. Ukraine lost Crimea. Ukraine lost eastern part of Ukraine. And it appears Obama is not done with it. Equaling literally Russia with Ukraine in front of international society. Demanding both sides to cease aggression. When in fact there is no aggression in defending your existence, is it? Obviously for Obama it is. Listen, uh, when you take no responsibility, you don't have to call yourself a neo-Nazi imperialist. When you accept no responsibility whatsoever for your actions, which you refuse to do so, For 48 years, 40, this stuff, mine, started 48 years ago, and you, you refuse so. It really doesn't matter if you present yourself to the world like a liberal network, like a social type of network, like a CNN. It's your actions, for fuck's sake, that matters more than what you demand your, you know, for world to see you as. In my case, it doesn't matter if you align yourself to the gay, lesbian, social, uh, anti-Trump movement and so on. That doesn't matter to me. Because these issues are... I don't have any problem with the gay, lesbian issues, that's for one thing. But when it comes to all other issues, these issues are... 
worthless when compared to my case. This is a 48-year-old case that shaped this world. It's a big case and it really, really matters to me personally so that the people who created this, that's you in the West, who took no responsibility for it on the first place, and what it turned into afterwards, independent Slovenia. Now, taking the country back to this here, where Slovenia was trying to, through the struggle for independence, liberate itself. Uh, you're absolutely not going to have me obey your orders on how she had to be part of the solution, on how this guy had to be part of the solution. Uh, and I, I seriously deem that you, that you crossed all your, uh, you know, you went too far with this stuff. I wouldn't even bother if these were the people here, but I see that they are gaining attention from you. They are gaining attention from you, and I'm here to let you know for all the wrong reasons. I will not tolerate you, nor them. My problem, what you have created, will be solved literally through the police. It will not be solved through the political lobby you were not capable to and the people who engaged in a genocide against me during Yugoslavia is where it all started Slovenia only inherited this it's bad that one did not solve this issue but these are not the people that are going to be whom I'm going to be grateful whom I'm going to be thankful what they believe is not that I would be grateful or thankful. <laughs> These people know me well, all too well. Uh, what they really want is a public attention, basically. They just want to be deserved for something. Uh, and that's damage big enough. That you can't do me bigger damage than portraying these people as a part of solution or as a solution of any kind. Um, these people shouldn't even be inside of the politic. It's the same like Joe Biden. Joe Biden got himself in a politic. Uh, actually, the U.S. government got him. You got him. You ran this kind of politic with, like, it will be like this. It will be like this. It will not be like this. You don't understand. It will not, nothing, nothing that what you say will be like this. In my life, I wanted to be really a police officer. And unfortunately, really was other issues that were more important. Like, let's say, how about day of the Nazism that were more important in this world. Uh, and thanks to the people like you at the CNN, like Barack Obama, let's say. Stuff like this was happening. Uh, maybe you would say, oh, aren't you glad that this stuff was happening so that uh, a neo-Nazis could be busted? Uh, or, uh, let's say, well, in, in, the, in the case of the Yanis Yansha, that I would say that exactly is what the case is. Uh, I would say, yes, I am. The problem, however, is this had nothing to do with my life. Your problem in this case is that, if I go back a little earlier, I had my idea about life, which you have decimated into nothing, wiped out, so that you could play your games, your ways. In other words, run what... I was labeled with, thanks to you, in the United States of America foremost, in 2013 as a paranoid schizophrenic. 
you ran a schizophrenia basically you are running in the background of it all a schizophrenia that's what this is this is a diarrhea you are forcing the people down the throat your views whether the people like to have anything even to do with the politic or not they just have to swallow your diarrhea your schizophrenia violent stuff whether they like it or not they have to swallow one and I'm here to tell you it's enough of it the one who's gonna solve this problem will be none other than police that's also the career I pursued my entire life I am no longer interested in your uh, Barack Obama in your social issues in your Donald Trump in your um, what your views are, what would be good and what would not be good, or what would be maybe more convenient for you so that you wouldn't be, so your government would look better in the light of the world due to the conflicting matter, as you suggest, it's very difficult to resolve my issue. So, in other words, it would be like you're using Slovenia like a proxy to solve the problems, uh, you know, that you would get this on a table through, uh, maybe even through the leftists. That's why I said this does not, this is not a problem of the leftists, and these are not leftists. And that's what well, we are even closer to what I stated right now. That you're using Slovenia as a proxy to wash your blame in front of world by again acting like somebody that's some kind of intermediate who's going to handle this yeah it's going to be yeah it's all good it's all good fuck you nothing here is good i lost 48 years of life and i'm not about to lose my cause the reason for existence you're not going to wipe me out you're not going to delete me with your people you're not going to delete me with your people you're not going to make me disappear through the CNN. Which, by the way, just dedicated like a huge... I see here... A CNN was meeting... A CNN was meeting with his people inside of this house together, behind the closed doors, inside of our house in the Novo Mesto. And... That's why this, uh, this nobody, this girl is a total nobody. She's a, she's a fucking nobody. It's like you, you pick up somebody from the street and you start the schizophrenia with this person. Uh, you tell him, go complete the school for this and this and this. Now go and open the company, organization, where you, the name you're going to give such and such. Now go and you do this. Now go and you do that. Now go and you do this. Now come at the address, Kirka Anna, 8,000 Novel Mess and such and such time. And you have uncles behind who are telling you to do this stuff. Uncles like this here. Which eventually was the case. That's exactly what this was about. And it's where you're going to meet the CNN, and you're going to meet Barack Obama. And for me, this shit is already plenty too much. This garbage doesn't give any information. Let's try to reset. Don't think that this lady did not meet Barack Obama. She met me. But I am from Slovenia. She, however, also... She, she, not only Barack Obama, which is... That's why I was trying to open that page, because it's nicer. But, okay, this is, this is a cash page. You can see, this lady is a nobody. Nobody knows about her. She got to meet Barack Obama in person, Hillary Clinton, 
all these people inside of this house. You understand me what I'm saying? Uh, expressed uh, uh, interest in uh, dating me. Uh, and I kind of like her. Uh, took me to her March 8th where her female friends were there and so on. Uh, beautiful ladies, sure. All nice. But you know what? That was MK Ultra. Do you know what MK Ultra is at all? When you drugged up, when you drugged up a person and you handle him, you basically you traffic him. It's called the human trafficking with a person that is drugged up. And you're exercising mental um, handling. It's not control, really, but you're brainwashing the person to see, to pursue certain issues as you would want him to. Uh, you basically demand from an individual to see himself or herself in certain issues through a variety of possibilities. In my case, it was nothing other than violence for 48 years. I didn't approve any of this stuff. I don't approve any of this stuff. You know what I was talking about on my blog? About the death threats, about terror. This here was uh, in Gorgian in psychiatry. This girl, this Nika Kovac, became addict, psychiatric addict. The same as her mentor from United States of America, Barack Obama. He was also obsessed with the ability to murder people through psychiatry. And if you don't get to murder them, then you continue to condition their life, their existence, with a death threat. With a number one death threat in this world, to which nobody ever escaped. It's called psychiatry. Barack Obama is a psychiatric addict. Now, I almost sound like Donald Trump, and that's why I said a little earlier that a CNN in my eyes, is closer to a neo-Nazi company than to the issues that is publicly affiliating itself with. It's like you would have a neo-Nazi taking cover behind social justice issues such as gay, lesbian, uh, all kinds of social justice issues, but doing where it really, really matters, everything very, 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 very wrong. Because, you know, in a certain degree, in a certain point, it's that Nazism and the leftism that, even if you want to present one, it doesn't matter, they actually meet in that certain point. Now, the question, however, is, if you're a victim of this stuff, if, like I am, let's say, how the hell do you get to that dot to that degree to that point where you're actually indifferent from the Nazi uh, and through the hatred you get they make you do that stuff through the hatred and it seems like this hatred this Trumpism somehow still we're not over we're still not done with and this Trumpism in my case is marching on me literally through this individual here who depicts himself as a leftist. You don't understand what the fuck you're doing? You will understand. I'm telling you something. You will understand. This individual here who just launched the campaign about a boy um he launched a campaign about a boy who was um, uh, consuming a cocaine, a six-year-old boy um, who was who tested positive on a campaign or on a cocaine. Cocaine. He did two things in respect to this news during MK Ultra. One news he stated me: if you're going to be talking about the stuff. 48 years ago about the Moscow how where all this started about the British all this stuff 
which is rather amazing but not incredible it's very very credible it's very legitimate he said to me and that's what I see as a bully uh, I'm gonna post the news about the cocaine that it will concern the little boy six-year boy and I said how are you gonna get somebody to about the cocaine that is a six-year boy and it was through the parents so when I stated earlier schizophrenia diarrhea news when you pushing down the throat stop fucking doing this uh, you're making the news like this politician here uh, knowing the parents getting an agreement with the parents and create the news so that you can be on a front page so that in this case you can also get the feedback from a really really important historically important case such as is mine on how I pursue you as if it's worth it for you to continue but the thing is the answer is the same as it was during MK Ultra. and yes you are taking my precious time right now because the time I dedicate to you I should be dedicating to other issues and that what rather depicts you as agent of Great Britain of British royals that run the corruption the ring somebody that actually financing you to consume the time somebody that's actually like threatening me that will go and solve this problem yes because you created the urgency that that you will see if I you know must be quiet must be silent that I will be tested and this and that the answer is the same it's the same fucking answer the answer did not change he continued to build on his news uh, and according to MK Ultra comes up here that is gonna what I read about is gonna that is gonna act real fast and this and that and so on and so forth um, this is just one problem from the West that is trying to that is threatening my existence this is a very very serious threat to my existence I I uh, I fought against these people who committed extermination genocide in the Balkans I fought against them my life was destroyed because of people like this It was decimated because of the people like this. This lady here, Nika Kovac, who has the biggest support from Barack Obama, who Barack Obama told me that this is just going to be have to be solved some, some way somehow, and that he just decided that he's going to pick her up, that uh, he see himself in her the most, uh, that I like her and therefore it's just gonna be like this um, and who is totally indifferent from this guy I should say and this guy here uh, well actually she is closer to this guy than this guy I wouldn't have a problem with either of these young people um, really I, I would have no problem with either of these people if it wasn't for this individual and this individual here this individual here is Ljubljana Mayer this guy here you know this is he's laughing and everything but this should this is not funny this is really, really not funny <laughs> the degree of torture this guy was involved in is unprecedented it's really not funny this is really not funny um, there is people that like British royals that enjoy a fact of what I'm pointing out because they believe that's depicting me as mentally ill 
And in many ways it does. I lost 48 years of life to this shit. And this shit just is not resolving itself as it should. It appears the whole thing is like a matter between the politicians and I'm nothing other than a toy. Like you throw on a table and you just do the stuff and, and that's it basically. And you wrap that under the rug and you go and that's all there is to it and so on. Like, like I'm a fucking five minute deal. Like those 48 years destroyed, wiped out from my life becomes a matter between a matter of agreement of basically making favor to one another politicians making favor to one another like in this case clearly Obama supported heavily this girl which CNN is now advertising just like this individual made himself visible in the media with a six-year-old boy cocaine news and stuff like this family uh, she is coming out very very strong literally now through the CNN she is a nobody this is just this guy here is I don't know how long how old is this, this is like a 36 year old he's 36 years old I could be father from this guy here and this girl here this Nika Kovac she's just 30 years old it's just like making people out of... Yeah, when she was 20, she got to meet Obama inside of this house. I mean, isn't it fantastic when you just... Fucking President of the United States of America comes to your country. So, you, a 20-year-old, she was more than 20, something over 20, get to meet American President just like this. And uh, he becomes like your mentor and stuff like that. Is that fucking uh, great, that stuff? It's fucking awesome, isn't it? Very few people get opportunity like this and positions themselves as a mentor and it just makes the agreement and we're just going to cooperate and we, we're going to do our net. We just start to create our nets. It doesn't work like this. Obama here is not in a light. Ah... Uh, written his name here is not written in the stars uh, this lady that threatened me through she was engaging in anxiety through Ljubljana police using literally police administration from Ljubljana to uh, enforce the idea that I have to be silent uh, claiming me that if once I see this picture here it's too late for me it's gonna be a psychiatrist and so on you know for the for the psychiatrists for the psychologists who know about MK Ultra, you know the stuff that I'm talking about anxiety and stuff like this that this is what MK Ultra is based on the trauma so you have a young individual here who in engorged with the leadership of the Ljubljana police where she reported the fake incident we have again schizophrenia diarrhea she engineered a fake assault with somebody that more than willingly is gonna say is supporter of this guy she she presented him as a supporter of this guy and she's like at the CNN pushing forward uh, CNN is pushing forward how she stand up against the mighty powerful individual like this guy here that that is a war it's like a big war going between uh, this guy here uh, between her and this and that but that she's she stood up against and she's fighting back you know one little lady like this against the mighty guys against the big man and so on but you know I told you this guy was employee this guy who claimed few days ago his father was at this place here that he escaped from mass execution of 
neo-Nazis, of the fascists in a post-World War II period. That's what this guy claimed, that it was his father, not, yeah, he said Hudayama, but it was not Hudayama, it was another location just like this one, that he somehow survived, escaped. If it wouldn't be like this, that he wouldn't be a proof. Yes, but the proof, the proof is this here. The proof is that his father had his son enroll into what you see here. It's called Udba. That's a secret Yugoslav police, Stasi police, in other words. Stasi, KGB, KGB. These are the people that actually... Hmm, are we going to have... I demonstrated you those executions. These are the people who ran this stuff. These are the people who did this kind of stuff. And I'm not, listen, I'm not saying that his father was not at the place, at a horrific place such as Huda Yama. I'm not saying that his father did not escape from there. But, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is that if the people that were going to execute your father allow you for you to actually, for your son to actually advance into a, such a prominent uh, position like this, that you become a leader of the secret Yugoslav uh, intelligence service, then it must be not so bad in Yugoslavia. Do you understand me what I'm saying? This, I'm going to just use this as another proof that between this individual here and between the people against whom one apparently is fighting and a CNN is now brokering, you know, because if you go to this issue from Nika Kovac, CNN video, you're going to see how she is depicted over there like uh you know how the, the, this, this is just it, it's it's like totally it's like it's like a total paranoia i mean about how she's assaulted how they attack her how she is persecuted how this mighty guy is going after her and so on and it's this guy and it's this guy and it's this guy now who started uh, yes. Actually, independent women. Logica. Yane Zayans, who decided to speak up, and in that moment, we. And it's like basically present the whole thing like a hope, not hate. You know, hope, not hate, and so. CNN is going to get a police invitation to the court. CNN was involved as long as this case is old. This is the oldest network next to the BBC that was involved in this genocide against me. There is such a thing like beyond the politics. It's called the police. Uh, do not cross my path. I'm not interested in your schizophrenic bullshit. Whether you hire somebody to attack you so you can make the news uh, or you hire the parents from the six years old so you can make the news, this is about totally other issues. Or you go to the, to the media to tell that your father escaped from a horrific place uh, such as Hudayama where they would execute Nazis, fascists and so on. Uh, did the post-World War II cleaning, as they refer to us, in France, in Italy, throughout the entire world, basically, much of because society was unwilling to deal with it, and society didn't have a financial means to support rehabilitation of entire uh, Nazi fascist movement which in many cases were not even willing to negotiate on uh, on a loss really 
on a loss of their cause during the World War II, in the post-World War II period. Many of these people suffered, were also innocent people. One of them was my uncle, and I am definitely not trying to incite in uh, some kind of views that it was that it's it's a good thing that they they killed people and stuff like this because that's exactly what I am not here for I already suggested that I am for open society which would give everybody equal opportunity for inclusion into uh, into society uh, however that you're gonna range with a news like that uh, call for a Nazism through uh, insisting on how uh, you don't have your day uh, you don't have the right to your uh, you know just like others and this and that just keep in mind that you try to create more than a new world order it was about wiping people from the face of the earth based on their origins racial backgrounds and so on it's not the same thing so this is a very very aggressive politic uh, this politic appears to me at least it appears to me is controlled by the people like this literally this is already long gone uh, however in Slovenia the people who supported this individual are still here they still exist these people in Slovenia who supported the individual I presented still deeply 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 exist you know that the, the individual that I demonstrated you they are still here you can see right there you can see Borut Paho right there you can see Vladimir Putin you can see Zoran Yankovic you know they're still here and they're pulling the strengths behind this stuff and this is my country Mr. Obama this is a Europe this is not United States of America nor this is Africa where you're welcome to do as you're pleased if this is what you like if this is basically what you want to do you want to do it this way I'm going to tell you what this is up to you but here where I escaped from United States of America once I moved to United once I escaped to United States of America and where I escaped from United States of America afterwards you're not going to be doing this kind of song anymore the, your song is over today is 2023 you are not capable to resolve any of these issues and you're not going to make these things more complicated in eyes of the world misrepresented them for what these issues were foremost because of you and I say foremost because of you is because the people like this here are disgrace this is a disgrace these are the people whose methods are indifferent from a German Gestapo, from the German SS, and who present themselves in the eyes of the world as the leftists, as the supporters of the communism, and they imagine communism just sitting on a sofa, basically collecting public funds. Good luck with this. If you go to China, they're going to explain to you what a communism is. And I think you would feel good about if you would go to China and try a real communism to see how it is, how it feels like. Because for one, for one, for one day in your life, you would get to work, you would get to move your butt, and you would get to pay your bills for what you are worth, basically for your actual contribution to your existence. So that 
you wouldn't go and uh, envision yourself in, in a dark halls like this through a fake assault which Ljubljana police made it possible for you. The report obviously is going to concern the leadership of Ljubljana police that where she filed this report which was coordinated during MK Ultra with other bullying. When I touched this institute of March the 8th And then I have to touch another individual who was involved in this. I cannot go over there and waste my time with that with that Wikipedia page. I'm not going to go and do that. Instead, I'm going to click here and I'm going to get this individual who also was involved in MK Ultra. And who exampled my father mm -hmm. as the one who's going to need why I have to be friend with him and how if only I will be good he will get the law in respect to Zakon or Dogotraini or Skirby and he gestured also for me he knew about what they were doing with me inside of the house that they were butchering me, harrowing me poisoning me and playing uh, issues health related issues um, this individual is the right to social care for a social care of a family member uh, that uh, would give me the ability let's say to take care uh, my father or so that my father could be at home uh, or uh, you would have one inside of the institution and that you would get the money if you would have one here uh, at home or so that you would get the money uh, and with this money uh, rather than to be at the institution you would have somebody that would come come to your home and give you uh, personal assistance this is actually something that people like this guy here should worry about uh, rather than about the, the day of anti-communism and stuff like this. You know, when you say about the anti-communism, I'm going to say, uh, you must be a new Nazi. When you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you say, when you say that you want your day of anti-communism, the day that is going to remind of the communists killing the victims as you see he refers to the neo-nazis as victims as a fascists he refers to them as a victims so that's basically that's already a hate speech i'm gonna put it this way yeah when you when you demand when you demand uh such issues maybe you should be thinking about the issue that this guy here that that uh, touched and don't worry about it this guy knows about all this stuff that's why I told you a little earlier that this is not anti-communist this is just a Udba individual this is just a killer 
who deems that it's more important the day of anti-communism than solving the problem like it's mine or a problem about issues concerning as such as issues of social care of the people and so on He also is declare himself as a leftist, uh, but the stuff that I have spoken about is already the stuff that, yeah, he declared himself as a leftist, and if you click here, uh, you're going to see pictures about him uh, involved also in, in, a, in a gay community and such and stuff like this. And it's the kind of stuff they were doing. They were, they were, they were torturing me, literally through psychiatry, and then posed next to the gay people and other people to obtain the credibility from the public. You see, there is many, many reasons why I cannot see myself affiliated, or God forbid that I would go and accept any kind of assistance, any kind of help that I would see myself in a people like this. That would be really, I would be totally, totally pathetic. Can you imagine what that would do to my reputation, I mean, as a human being? I fought for survival. And it's this kind of people that were using the struggle, my struggle, my every breath to stay alive, basically to promote their agenda in a light of the world which had nothing to do with what they claim they have represented. There is no leftist in this world, a real leftist, that would go and see himself or herself in the suffering of a human being over there, drugged up, to whom you can do as you are pleased. to promote his uh, leftist agenda. Communist movement was based on a suffering, on self-deprivation, so that something decent could grow out of this stuff. These people instead collected the money from the special privilege, to the press special privilege, through the British royals, which communicated economically, militarily, uh, supplied Slovenian police also, with uh, all sorts of surveillance systems, weaponry. When I say supplied, I mean here Israel, I mean other countries to the West to which British gave the green light. When it concerns them directly, something that is the biggest matter to them, they're not going to be doing stuff directly. They will always go through the indirect issues and so on. So this is like a top of the corruption in Slovenia. It can't go become more corrupt, more criminal than what you see right here. He touched the dignity in me as far as issues concerning my literally problems with the kidneys, liver, pancreas, I believe, definitely cancer, maybe diabetes and so on. It was very difficult for me to stay alive. My father over there 91 year old that subjected himself to this police mistreatment brutality is 91 year old uh, as I stated in a previous video they pay 6,000 euros per month for the healthy individuals up to the age of 45 if they are willing to subject themselves to lie inside of the bed for one month so you can imagine how unhealthy that is, and he's 91 year old. Uh, this had touched the core of my dignity, and it's it's disgusting that he affiliated himself as a leftist. And I say that uh, within the Slovenian politics, the difference between the leftists 
uh, and the so-called rightists, even their fathers climbed out of the halls, as this individual insists his father did, there is none. Because to them, what matters to the people itself, like to me, the victim of MK Ultra since my age four, it matters not to them. It matters not to them about how people are going to uh, be either in, in institutions as elderly or as sick or could take care of themselves, receive help at home and so on. They, they are into completely other issues. They are steering hatred in whatever they are doing. The whole country seems like it's drowning in corruption, which definitely it is. And I don't want to be, I don't want to have people like this uh, solving my problem to be, to be, to be part of a uh, solution in respect to my case. These people are not going to be solving my problem. Here to say this to the CNN, this is American media, biggest American media network. I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted with issues like this. I don't, I don't know what exactly does it take. The one who established this institute, 8 March, in fact, was this guy, Simon Malievitz, which I just demonstrated you, this guy here, and this girl here, this, this Nika Kovac. So, there definitely is a link between this. I definitely have the reason to feel threatened through the issues like this. It does involve a minister for social matters, family, equality issues even. Um, it's disgusting that I have to talk about a beautiful young lady, I should say ladies, uh, that should otherwise truly represent in eyes of the world legitimacy of the March 8th. You know what the March 8th is? It's a very important day. It's known as International Women's Day. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I want to stress for this video. I am disgusted. None of these people are going to be solving my problems. This is also, it, it, it refers itself as a social democrat. This is, this is left. They declare themselves as a left. The thing is that it's not left. It doesn't have nothing to do with the left, as I stated. These people should go to China and spend one day in China working in a factories, working with the people physically. Physical labor would do you good, ladies and gentlemen. You should try life a little bit. You should know what life is all about so that you would understand one better. I am against politicians that go in university, complete the university and do nothing other than sit for the rest of their life giving their commands to the rest of the society. I am against the people, in other words, that didn't try, didn't go through anything. I think that these are people that are spineless, just like fish, basically. Yeah, and these are not the people that are going to be solving my issue. I pursued in the United States of America a career for law enforcement. I kind of like it. I like that. Uh, I wanted to become a law enforcement officer. Because of people like this, I couldn't do anything. I deem I'm lucky to, to be even alive to tell you this, to warn you about these issues, because of people like this. People who see life through psychiatry, basically, through just labeling somebody as mentally ill once he revolts against 
the violence against the torture, literally. These are the kind of democracies they believe they're going to run and engage in what I see rather as a schizophrenic, paranoid, schizophrenic incitement of hatred type of Boy, you got to see this last interview this guy gave. I have just... Uh, uh, I have just seen this stuff briefly. I am probably going to do a video on his... Uh, on his... Uh, on his uh, interview. Uh, this individual here that you see... This reporter, he already had me, this Croatian already had me in his uh, studio in Croatia together with the Yansha. They were preparing themselves for this interview. Uh, the people that you see here inside that oh, they yeah. do interview were involved in MK Ultra. The thing is, I don't have nothing to do with it. You got to understand, I was uh, dropped up. I was brought to meet these people against my will, forcefully, and... For your own sake, for your own fuck's sake, stay away from the people that do nothing other than steer problems that are being afterwards used to pull you down, destroy you. Uh, it's amazing how this guy uh, was engaging so many issues and he's still around and... Uh, is crying and back and forth but he's still around and it's real people out there that get destroyed angela merkel stated clearly identified herself uh does not want vladimir putin politic in germany doesn't want any kind of a nazism doesn't they they don't want that in germany in in austria in italy that kind of stuff is prohibited uh in well, I hope that police is going to step up uh, and come to an end also to this dilemma here in respect to this individual here that is inciting openly in hatred, ongoingly. So, that's all I want to say. That's all I want to say for this video. You guys should be waiting on me. Uh, actually, on invitation to the police departments which we are definitely going to get it's the next thing my next step is to write the complaint now it's a 48 year old case I probably posted close to 1000 videos in this 1000 videos online over 1000 videos each probably is one hour two hour God knows how long they are uh, I worked a lot I didn't get a dime a jack dime a penny my banking accounts were controlled by the governments. I never received one cent even. Not other social security. I got nothing basically for doing my work. So you waited, you suffered for a very long time. You can you can hold on to it just a little longer, a few more days, and then we're gonna also discuss the issues and dilemmas that are so much troublesome to you that you are so bothered with. We're going to come to the bottom of this stuff. Thanks for watching this video. I might post these videos here about... Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is basically the work. What is wrong? You see... Uh, I... You know, I don't know what this lady here, what, what is this? Leftism, communism is not like this. You know, this is, this is not what leftism, communism is. Leftism, communism is this here. This here. See it largest artificial lake in China I saw a few days ago it's a country that was uh, a colony and is the country that is battling 
for the number one place in the world with United States of America economic strength wise country that not too long ago was close to a poverty or other and have through a total sacrifice came along very far so I, I really don't know what what is it because when I see this this crazy stuff here when I see this stuff here this um, uh, this this is this is this is just uh, you know um, this guy here and that lady laughing and uh, talking about how he and and it's like a war between these people and so on you know I don't know but this people this people this people uh, they're gonna be subject to my persecution I will prosecute you I will prosecute the police at Ljubljana that is giving you the opportunity to run the schizophrenic show you understand because what you did is you polarized the police department to the such degree they actually agree to engage in your political bullshit in your games but this games came at an extremely high cost for the people like myself it's just entire lives are basically being ripped apart wiped off so expect me also at CNN here's your date and day July 23rd 2023